Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Vape Reviews of Us. So we've got another mod for you today, and it's the Vape Bomb Express plain version from Angel Fire Mods. Uh, now I do believe that Angel Fire Mods are the only company in the UK that is stocking this. Uh, if you've seen Todd's video, obviously he, he's also done a video on these. Uh, they're not a mass-produced mod. It's somebody who makes them in his shed, and that's what makes it. That's what makes it good. It's pretty much twenty-two mil copper tubing, and it's all standard uh, plumbing fittings. So yeah, what we'll do then? We'll dive straight down close, and we'll take a look at it. Right, so here we are then with the up close of the Rat Vape Bomb Express, and this is the 18650 plain tube version. There are versions that come with uh, schools and various other items on the tube, as well as the plain, and then they also do in an 18350, 18490 slash 500, and this 18650. They're all handmade in the UK. Uh, they're not made on a machine or a, uh, on a lathe or a CNC. Uh, they're all just uh, handmade. So it comes in this nice little presentation box. It's all plastic with clip locks on each side. And when you get your vape bomb, you'll be presented with an instruction sheet. Now, this is really nice. It's not very often you uh, receive instructions with a mod. It tells you everything you need to know. Mounting atomizer for your connection. How to take a battery rattle, how to unlock. Uh, it also comes with a couple of spare O-rings and a small bag of grease for greasing your O-rings. Tells you about the venting and a few pictures on how to put it together. So we'll move the tub out of the way, and when you get the mod, it comes wrapped in this nice black cloth, and this is what it looks like. Now, from what I can see, it's pretty much 22 mil copper. It's not high grade copper or anything like that. And it's basically your regular uh, fittings. And it even still says BS 22, which is British Standard 22 on the button section and on the copper. I'm not sure if you can see just the side of my thumb there. It still has the writing that gets stamped on any copper part. Just there. So as I say, this is 18650 mode only. And it measures 98 millimetres long. 22 millimetres wide. And it's, it's, really, it's really a uh, nice little mod. It's... It's not over machined or anything like that, it's hand built. I really like the fact that it's made by somebody in the shed. It's so simple that it's brilliant. I really do like it. As you can see, a British penny soldered onto the bottom of the mod. And the, the switch itself is just push fit with two O-rings to hold it in place. And it's magnetic. So what we'll do, oh, sorry, we'll break the switch apart first and try not to fling any magnets flying. He says, right. So, 
in the bottom of a switch there's a big magnet and a bolt so basically what happens is inside of the plastic on the switch is this hex bolt so when you turn it you know, turn it to the right so clockwise it lowers the nut and uh, it tightens the nut and the bolt up together within this plastic housing so that your switch becomes locked and as soon as you start to undo it it extends on the bolt and that gives you your firing mechanism so there's a magnet in the bottom and there's also wherever they've gone two magnets that fit on there now as you can see there there's a hole for battery venting which will vent out the bottom of the switch but yeah so when you put your switch back together you have two magnets that way obviously to make sure they're facing the right direction and then the hex nut just pops down into the plastic like so you take plastic part of the switch slide it it says slide it into uh, over the bolt take your hex nut and just tighten it together like so now as you see there's two o-rings there that's what holds it onto the tube, onto the inside of the tube. And we'll make it fire. So that's the switch. And then within the mod, the when I can get it out. There's a piece of plastic with a uh, screw going through it and that's your positive contact and the top cap is like a hybrid cap. Now, there are the only two things really I would possibly change about this mod are I'd get copper, a copper bolt and copper hex nut for the switch and instead of having this piece of plastic with a screw through it basically do like it is on a uh, 4.9 have the 510 with an insulator stuck behind that so that your at is direct with your battery so what you do is all you do to use the mod is you make sure that the piece of plastic's down in there with the screw head facing the inside and the threaded section going up to the 510 so you slide that in pop a battery in and all your switch will do then is just push onto the mod to take up any battery rattle turn it clockwise to lock it and to clockwise to unlock it so what we'll do is we'll do a voltage check so 4.10 and we'll do the same as we did on the Manhattan we'll do a 1 ohm load And we'll do a 0.37 load. So, we go at foot three point eight six. So, four point zero ten. Take, oh no, 3.88 now. 
3.88 and that will give us a voltage drop of 0.22 at 1 ohm which is pretty good and then at 0.37 so we'll so 4.08 So this is at 0 0.37 and that will give us 0 0.44 drop. It's really nice. Uh, it's so simple that it's brilliant, it really is. Really good little idea. It's, you know, there's there's no uh, extending contacts to adjust. There's no there's nothing to adjust. It's all stick your bat stick your battery on, stick your battery in, push that you push your switch up to your battery, and you're ready to go. Really, really good little idea. Uh, and I really love the fact that it's made out of your standard tube, and it's. And the fact that it's not all machined to perfection, it, in my opinion, it's so imperfect that it's perfect. So right, what we're going to do then, guys, is we'll go back up top, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you up there. Right, and so that was the uh, up close with the vape rat vape bomb. Now, I do apologise if I missed anything or or if what I've said is pretty much the same as what Todd said on his review of it. But I just really appreciate the fact with this mod that somebody's put the time in to make it in the shed. And they're all, as I said, they're all hand-built. I'm going to have a quick wait. I mean, the button, that, that button, it's, it's just a brilliant idea. You know, there's no threads. You just slide it on there and no rings. Clockwise, it's locked. Anti-clockwise, it's unlocked. Hits very well. And I really can appreciate the fact that somebody's taking his time to just knock it up in his shed. I think it's one of, I will say it's one of my most favourite mods that I've used so far. Purely that switch. Uh, I mean, as as I did say, the, the two things that I would change that aren't necessarily a negative uh, or a con, it's just my opinion is having the top cap like as I say the 49 with the insulator attached to the actual top cap so that it's hybrid after directly to battery and then the uh, bolt and hex nut in copper or even copper plated just to give you a bit uh, better conductivity but yeah I mean other than that I love the I just really do like it. It's, it's, it's a really, really good little design. It's not overcomplicated. It's because it's simple. It makes it brilliant. Uh, but yeah. Uh, sorry, my mind's gone blank now. Uh, I mean, there's, there's not a lot else that I can tell you. I mean, it's, as I say, it's simple. It, you don't have to mess about with battery rattle. You, you just put your 650 in there, whether it's button top or nipple top, and just push up the bottom. And it, it's just, it's incredibly simple. But 
sorry i'm just waffling on so yeah like i say angelfiremods.co.uk 50 quid for an authentic i believe angel fire mods are the only people in the uk that are selling them now it will i polished it up uh earlier on today and it will patina really quickly because it's you know standard copper tubing but a quick wash with tomato sauce and you're good to go uh what else is there to say uh five ten threads really good just love the button I wish every mod had a switch as easy to use or uh, that worked as well. So yeah, anyway, just head on over to Angel Fire Mods and check them out. So once again, thank, thanks to Stephen Katie from Angel Fire Mods for letting me review this one. I've been waffling on a bit. Uh, but I really like it. It's really awesome. Hits really well. It's just, it's an incredible mod. It really is. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope I didn't bore you. I forgot what I was saying. But hit the like and subscribe.